Hello everyone and welcome to episode 28 of the TCC CTC Link blog. I'd like to start this episode off by congratulating Art Goodson in Enrollment Services for being the episode 27 winner. Uh, he's been hosting Link now for a few weeks uh, down at Enrollment Services. And I also want to let everybody know that uh, this is going to be the last video blog where we have a contest for hosting Link. Um, and so if you haven't had a chance to host Link in your area yet, um, stay tuned on Monday for your last chance to uh, host them in your area. Um, so I just have a few things I want to talk about today. Uh, number one is uh, user acceptance testing. We're about 75% complete with user acceptance testing. Uh, they've ex we've executed um, 2,363 scripts out of 3,142. Um, and uh, really all we have left now is, uh, or most of the bulk of uh, test scripts are around accessibility uh, and the Kim leads or those customizations that we have uh, on the PeopleSoft environment. Uh, and so um, there'll be a whole slew of testers, including Wave 1 folks, that'll be participating in, in getting uh, the rest of those scripts completed. Um, and then uh, next up, I want to talk a little bit about training. Uh, we just finished up some financial aid training that was facilitated by a vendor. Um, the vendor company is HTS. Um, and uh, so we finished up, it was two days worth of financial aid training that we had held down in Building 19. And uh, December is shaping up to be a very busy month with training. We have uh, 22 training sessions that will be occurring in December. And uh, most of those are, vi are vendor facilitated training, but we will have some training uh, that is offered by the CTC Link trainers as well. Um, so I'll be sending out uh, invites and notices to those folks uh, that, that may need to participate in those, uh, in those uh, training uh, courses. And so December, like I said, is gonna be a pretty busy month. Um, and then finally, I just wanted to talk about uh, Practice Go Live. Uh, that's actually starting this weekend. Uh, on Saturday, uh, CTC Link uh, folks will be um, pulling extracts from the legacy environment and, uh, and then also taking data that we've provided, the colleges have provided, and running that data through their crosswalk tables uh, or applications so that uh, the data can, uh, conforms to the PeopleSoft environment. And then on Monday, they'll begin the process of converting the data. Uh, and they'll be doing this in our production environment, so it'll be kind of a stress test for our production environment to see how it handles that conversion load. Um, but it'll also give uh, the CTC Link team an opportunity to see how long conversion will actually take. Um, you know, they know that it doesn't take too long, it takes about three hours to actually extract data from legacy, but doing a conversion of all the data into uh, the PeopleSoft format can take quite a bit of time. And so they haven't done it with all the data at once, and so they're, they're anxious to kind of see how long that's actually going to take. And then once that's done, then the CT ceiling team will actually be validating the data and just making sure that it came through nicely. And then that'll give us a good practice run um, for Go Live in February. And February 24th is our slated Go Live date, but that will depend on, on how well this, um, this test goes, this practice run. Because uh, if, they, if they do need a, a longer period of time to, to convert data, then they may extend the, uh, the Go Live data bit. But, um, but that's what we're looking, looking towards. Um, so that's all I have for this episode. Like I said, stay tuned uh, on Monday for your, chance, your last chance to host Link. Uh, 